Uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, and verse 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures from BibleGateway.com. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end is not yet. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, or Karkadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word, truth and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truth and sincerely as well, too. And I say shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a news article from foxnews.com, uh, published April 26, 2023, at 10.09 a.m. And it reads, um, and this was published by Timothy H.J. Nurazi from Fox News. And it reads, U.S. to send nuclear armed submarines to South Korea. First time in 40 years. The presence of a new, the presence of a uh, U.S. nuclear submarine near South Korea will be temporary and aim mostly at deteriorating nuclear testing by neighboring North Korea. <clears throat> so that definitely going to spark more tensions between North Korea versus the United States, South Korea, and Japan. So that's definitely going to spark more tensions. Even though it's going to be there temporary, but that's still going to spark more tensions between those nations. So that's what you call a, a rumor of war. This is a uh, President Joe Biden is expected to strike an agreement with South Korean President Yoon So So Yoon during the latter state visit to dock nuclear submarine in South Korea. Biden and Yoon are expected to sign the agreement Wednesday as a show of solidarity with Seoul amending increasing nuclear tensions with North Korea, the senior administration official says. The agreement will allow U.S. nuclear submarines into the region for the first time in 40 years. It says an increased presence of nuclear submarines will serve as Assad's South Korean concerns regarding North Korea's dictator Kim Jong-un pro progress of developing his nationals, nation's uh, nuclear arsenal. It says the decision is part of a policy rollout occasionally referring to as the Washington Declaration, an international position of the U.S. to quell growing aggression from communist North Korea. So, yeah, that's what you call a uh, rumor of war. So, once again, now that the United States and South Korea are going to sign this uh, a nuclear agreement deal, so they can have more uh, submarines, nuclear submarines, say, sail to the southern part of uh, Korea, right along the Korean Peninsula. So that's just going to stir up more tensions between the United States and allies of South Korea and Japan versus North Korea. You know, because keep this in mind that, you know, North Korea, look at that. You know, what the uh, growing uh, nuclear capability being deployed over there in the Korean Peninsula and over there in South Korea as well, too, right along the eastern shore of Japan, you know, and, you know, uh, South Korea. I mean, North Korea look at that as a, a potential uh, threat, you know. That's why you've been seeing North Korea firing off their missiles, testing their missiles, upgrading their nuclear capability as well, too. So that's why the tension is going to be at an all-time high. And it's definitely going to increase between South Korea versus the United States, South Korea, and Japan. So those escalations is going to heat up now so more than ever. So that's what you call an increasing of wars and rumors of wars between these nations. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of this recent news article from foxnews.com. This was published by Timothy H.J. Norzee. Uh, from Fox News as of April 26, 2023 at 10.09 a.m. Eastern Time as it reads again. 
U.S. to send nuclear armed submarines to South Korea for the first time in 40 years. So with that, hopefully this was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Gadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shalom.